special day for the whole nation as we celebrate our 75th Independence Day. At the stroke of the midnight hour, when the whole world sleeps, India will awake to life and freedom. I cannot start a speech by ignoring these beautiful words said by our first Prime Minister, Pandit Jawaharlal Nehru, on the eve of independence. This is said to be one of the most beautiful words. Why? This is because this word or this phrase by itself, it just conveys the pain, grievance and the endurance that the Indians had faced during that uh, period of the colonial rule. Then, in this Independence Day, first of all, I would like to thank all the martyrs who played a very, very important role in shaping the destiny of our nation. While talking about independence, our first thoughts will be about Mahatma Gandhi, who preached the message of Satyagraha, that is truth and non-violence. Then each and every people, starting from Pandit Jawaharlal Nehru, Subhash Chandra Bose, Bal Gangadhar Tilak, and even the poorest and poorest sections of people and the followers of Gandhiji are to be highly, highly appreciated. In fact, we can say that we actually borrowed our life from our founding forefathers. It's not wrong to say something like that. So, in the 74 years, India has faced a lot of challenges, right from wars, controversies, and even the global pandemic, that is the coronavirus. When the virus first hit, we were really, really scared. We don't know what to do. But after a point of time, we know how to put masks and how to sanitize our hands. I think it has become much of a daily routine. We are much more acquainted with the current situation. So in this occasion, I would like to thank all my all the doctors, nurses, medical staff, police uh, services and all the administrative positions and even the social service organization because they were working day and night in this pandemic to fight against the coronavirus and to do the day-to-day -day administering of a beautiful country. So while talking about independence, if I say I am independent, I have a good job, I have a good salary, that doesn't mean that the whole country is independent. If you have to say the whole country is independent, we have to say each and every one of its citizens are said to be individually independent, then we can say the whole country is independent. Independent doesn't just signify that uh, incident which happened on 1947, 15th of August, the day that we got freedom from the Britishers. But after that years, in the 74 years, what we have achieved, that is also contributing to something that like that. So in this independent day, what an independent person can do is to make the dependent person independent. So in the 74 years, India has excelled in each and every field, science and technology, education, health facilities and all, you name it, India has achieved. But there are a lot of fields in which India has to develop a still more, like basic sanitation facilities, education facilities, health facilities, and even the illiteracy rate in India is very, very high. So we have to go a long way in order to achieve all these things. So what an independent citizen can do in this independent day is to make the dependent uh, independent that is the first thing. The second thing is that to make uh, some contributions for the country to make your country develop and make your country much more productive. And the third thing is to fulfill the unfulfilled dreams of your leaders. If you do the first two things in the right way, then the third rule will be automatically completed. That is to fulfill the unfulfilled dreams of all the leaders. So I hope all these things will be fulfilled in the coming 10, 20 years. With this, I'm going to wish you all a very happy independence. Vandi Mataram Vandi Mataram Satatat Tachonu Satatat Tachonu Satatat Tachonu Satatat Tachonu Vandi Mataram Vandi Mataram Sujara Sufara Malayaj Sheetala Sash Shamala Mataram Vandi Mataram Vande Mataram Partum Partum Rima Pani Rama Baba Partum Rima Basani Partum 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 Shubhrajotsna Pulakit Yamini Pulakusumit Yamini
ध्रुम interested in joining indian army i need to serve our nation excellent akshay you have made a nice choice what about you akshara i also want to join as jawan indian army and serve my nation daddy are you joking akshara ladies as jawan in indian army no way you can't handle it it is a very tough task you can't handle it I think you should choose any other professions like teaching. But dad, Akshara had already applied for it and she got selection. I am very proud that my sister is going to serve our nation. Dad, please change your attitude, not her passion. For taking this decision, we need to give her a great applause and salute. Thank you my dear brother. Yes, the action speaks higher than the words. Firstly, girls were never allowed in the Indian army. Girls were only allowed as officers, not as jawans. Now, for the first time, Indian Army opened up vacancies for women jawans. The girls underwent training at the courts of military police center and school in Bangalore in May 2021. Eighty-three women were inducted as jawans for the first time in the Indian Army. So, in the Indian Independence Day. I can say both men and women in India are really independent. Bharat Mata ki jai, jai Hind. Jai Hind. Jai Hind. Jai Hind. जी ये स्वतंत्रता दिवस के नाम से टीवी पर क्या दिखा रहा है अच्छा बेटा 
15 अगस्त उन्नीस हमारे भारत के इतिहास में स्वर्णीय सम्मान के साथ लिखी गई तिथि है जिस दिन भारत आजाद हुआ उस दिन अंग्रेजों को भारत छोड़ने के लिए मजबूर होने पड़े अगर हम 200 साल तक गुलामी झेल सकते हैं, तो उत्सव भी उतना बड़ा होना चाहिए शायद यही वजह से हम उसे आज भी धूमधाम से मनाते हैं। अच्छा ठीक है लेकिन यह सब कैसे शुरू हुआ दादाजी अंग्रेजों के भारत पर अधिकार करने के बाद हम अपने ही देश में गुलाम हो गए पैसा अनाज जमीन की तरह सब कुछ हमारा था लेकिन अब हमारा किसी भी चीज पर अधिकार नहीं था जब भी हम उनका विरोध करते हमें उससे भी बड़ा जवाब मिलते हैं, जैसे जालियन वाला बाग हत्याकांड हमारे स्वतंत्रता सेनानियों के साहसी आंदोलन में कोई कमी नहीं थी उनके अधिक प्रयासों का परिणाम आज हम स्वतंत्रता के रूप में आनंद लेते हैं। अंग्रेजों ने हमारे देश को पूरी तरह से लूटा जिसका एक उदाहरण है कोहिनूर जो आज ब्रिटिश रानी का ताज सजा रहा है हाँ दादाजी अब मुझे समझ आ रहा है लेकिन अंग्रेजों से स्वतंत्रता पाने में किसने हमारी मदद की गांधी जी जैसे अनेक स्वतंत्र सेनानियों के कारण हमें स्वतंत्रता मिली है गांधी जी ने सभी को सत्य और अहिंसा की शिक्षा दी और यह अहिंसा ही सबसे बड़े हथियार के रूप में उभरी और सबसे कमजोर के जीवन में भी आशा का दीपक जलाया गांधी जी ने देश से किसी भी तरह की खुर्दियों को दूर करने के लिए कठिन प्रयास किया और सभी वर्गों को एक साथ लाया जिससे लड़ाई आसान हो गई उनके लिए लोगों का प्यार ही था कि लोग उन्हें बापू कहते थे साइमन कमीशन का सभी लोग शांतिपूर्ण तरीके से विरोध कर रहे थे लेकिन इसी बीच अंग्रेजों ने लाठी चार्ज करना शुरू किया और उसमें लाला लाजपत राय की मृत्यु हो गई इससे आहत होकर भगत सिंह सुखदेव राजगुरु ने साइंडर्स का वध किया और बदले में उन्हें फांसी द्वारा दंडित किया गया फिर भी वे हंसते हुए फांसी की तख्ती पर चढ़ गए इस स्वतंत्रता संग्राम में सुभाष चंद्र बोस बाल गंगाधर तिलक मंगल पांडे रानी लक्ष्मीबाई गणेश शंकर विद्यार्थी राजेंद्र प्रसाद मौलाना अबुल कलाम आदि सैकड़ों नाम है जिनका योगदान अदुलनीय है फिर क्या हुआ दादाजी फिर क्या हुआ बेटे इन सभी लोगों के कारण 15 अगस्त उन्नीस के रात के 12 बजे हमारा भारत स्वतंत्र बन गया Uh, we really have quite a lot of things to learn this year. All new and freshly brewed. 
we really need to work hard we're stepping into higher secondary and then colleges uh, speaking of which what are your future plans i mean colleges and your dream destination settle down for studies i'm sure you must have had all those planned out by now of course i've thought of applying to universities outside india i've always dreamt about this thing. uh if you don't mind me asking why did you choose universities outside india i mean of course it's your decision uh, but i just wanted to know why you opted to settle down outside of india to be really honest i've always wanted to settle down in a foreign country i want to enjoy and explore being truly free i personally feel that we experience a less freedom here i want to develop myself in a progressive lifestyle it's stagnant here no offenses i do agree india needs to develop i need to see real freedom and not just something i could spot in the fancy lines of history textbook of course there is freedom uh, but not enough society needs to develop in a faster rate but if you look more closely we are the society that we blame uh, don't you think we are equally responsible you're right people you and i say that we were independence years back but we are not experiencing to the fullest The grass is green always on the other side because we just don't open our heart and mind to see the side they're standing above. Now, to all of you watching this on the 75th Independence Day of India, it is true India needs to develop. We need to feel more secure and truly free. But years back, people of India bought freedom for us at the cost of their sweat and blood. They did their duty by laying the foundation for a free and independent nation. But we drew the curtains, knowing now that attain and enjoy complete freedom. We do have to work hard as well. We should be really proud of the brave people who fought for us and helped us make the first stop. But we should remind ourselves that we must build the nation further. This is an ever dynamic process. Jobs have shown us the path, and it's time for us to work hard to lead India from a developing country to a developed one. We must never forget the fact that the air that we breathe today, it was gifted by some audacious people. We must be grateful to them. But at the same time, we must never forget the fact. that this journey is never ending this independent day we are there that you have a significant role in this mission and, and that, that to be a responsible and lead the charge Zero.
कर लो पानी जो शहीद हुए हैं उनकी जरा याद करो कुर्बानी तुम भूल न जाओ उनको इसलिए सुनो ये कहानी जो शहीद हुए Shama.